getting really hot and heavy into this really strange fanfic, and now it's gonna get even worse. Mm -hmm. It's Justin's turn. Since they switched up all the goals, they basically screwed me over. Yep, that yep. was the plan. Yes, we did. Uh, so I'm Actually, that was my plan. That was just Christina's plan. That was what I will take total... Total ownership of that plan. <laughs> so it turns out that uh, Bon Bon. Nice. See, it turns out that there was a huge storm in Ponyville, and uh, Bon Bon, the worker at the candy factory, got stuck with Aloe and Lotus of the spa <coughs> town thing. Uh, basically, <laughs> they're pairing up, and I get to put one gold, buy them up, blah, blah, blah. Awesome. Do it. So I'm going to switch out the cheerly card since it's gone forever. <laughs> she yeah. already found love once this game. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's just all And she it's magical. Horns are touching. When this goal, <laughs> when three unicorns uh, ships are on the board, alicorns count as uh, unicorns. There's one. Wow. Yeah. There's, there's one unicorn ship on the board. But basically, I'm going to then ship 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 senora uh i hate this i'm gonna ship gender swapped rainbow dash dude looks like a lady with aloe and lotus <laughs> <laughs> so i can then draw another card from the pony deck i know we don't have time to read all of the fanfic but this is some of my favorite fanfic on this particular card sundari rainbow dash it it's not like I like you or anything, stammered Rainbow Dash as she blushed furiously. I just had le extra left over, that's all. So, um, now male gender swapped Rainbow Dash <laughs> is going to hook up tragically. Tragically? Because it's not a goal anymore with gender swapped all the Wonder Bolts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Who okay. count as a single pony. But they can count as either male or female. But it doesn't really matter. Gender swapped all the Thunderbolts. <laughs> it's just crazy. Nobody knows what's going on. Okay. So, I'm then going to ship uh, on the lamb a timeline change. And so I'm going to ship fanfiction author Twilight with uh, alternate reality royal guard shining armor. In this alternate reality, is he her brother? Yeah. No. no, no. <laughs> it's fanfic. Yes, he is. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's my fanfic, and it's Twilight no, Sparkle's fanfic. It, he's actually <laughs> Princess Celestia's brother, okay. and, uh, and she just wants to get the Princess Celestia. But more importantly, I can swap two pony cards. Nice, because you activate his ability. Oh, nice. So we're gonna swap Pony J. But um, but um, making it happen. Out of the Twilight, three unicorns. It's magical. Horns are touching. Yep, and, and, they, and they're all touching, actually. And I imagine that you, with one card left, you don't have much else to do when um, you turn here. Unfortunately, no. Okay. But I really did want to ship Mrs. Cake and Mr. Cake. <laughs> but it's not meant to be. Another, yeah, another time. They're, gonna, they're not going to get to have their cake and eat it, too. Uh, Chantana Pudding Head's Entourage. Win this goal when you play three Earth Ponies from your hand in one turn. I don't have three Earth Ponies, you guys. You oh, guys, I feel so really bad for you. You guys, I don't have three Earth Ponies. <laughs> this is the worst. Okay, but I can uh, probably ship somebody. I can totally ship somebody who has... I'm just going to vanilla ship. I read this in a book once. Uh, Druid Fluttershy and Cider Season Applejack. I'm going to activate that to draw hopefully an Earth Pony. Nope. Wait, you're, which, what part did you read? Druid Fluttershy or vanilla Cider, ship? Cider Season Applejack. I read this in a book once. Oh, that's the name of the ship. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yep. I thought you were explaining that oh. you read one of these. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to play You're a Princess Harry. <laughs> oh no. Um with Prince uh yeah, Prince Blue Blood. Cider Season Applejack is just getting it on over there. So wait, which one's the print? Oh, uh, Cider, uh, uh, Prince Blueblood is. He is now an alicorn. <laughs> He's now an alicorn female for the rest of the turn. 
Okay. Um, so I started out strong here, but I've really lost a lot of steam. I just yeah. haven't been able to, to make it happen on any of these goals these last few turns. And, well, that's because you guys keep stealing all the goals that I can and get. three uh, Pegasus or three Earth. Uh, and then a quick uh, score count. I'm at one, Joe's at five, Christina's at zero, but she can yep. have eight cards in her hand. Yes. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and say that <laughs> Hank, who's a royal palace guard, was stuck on a balcony all night and the only thing he could see was Bloomberg. <laughs> and he fell in love. <laughs> Which allows me to draw a card. What I like about this game is the humorous stories that can come from it. And yeah, Hank is also another one of my favorites because he just gets into so much trouble. Caitlin did all of the art on really? each one of these cards. Yeah, It's amazing. It looks like it's from the show, honestly. <sighs> Except if the show was really, really, really creepy. <laughs> no, I really like the um, Iron Will hugging the dragon that they pretended to dress as when <laughs> Spike uh, went to go hang out with the teenager dragons at the volcano. Okay, uh, and go. so what was it? Uh, alternate reality, Celestia was actually the sister of uh, uh, Shining Armor? Yeah. Something like that. Okay, well, Twilight is trying to get with, Cel this is good, Twilight's trying to get to Princess Celestia by being with Shining Armor, but Princess Celestia, in a change of heart, decides that she wants to be with her brother, Shining Armor. No! Because it was you all along. No! Wow. That's my turn. Oh! Which, um, which Shining Armor? Is, is she with alternate reality? Is she alternate reality or is, is he alternate? I don't Nobody's know. Nobody's alternate reality anymore. Okay. But it's somehow, turn, somehow it's all creepy and everyone is with <laughs> it. It has been very, very creepy. Uh, this whole time. Uh, let's see. You got a combo for us? That's dumb. Yeah, I have a combo of three unicorn ponies in my hand. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> that's, not that's no good. Useful? You gotta get rid of that Cadence Skull unless somebody has it. Um, okay, I can do that actually. Um, see, we're just gonna make this all the weirds because uh, turns out they're at it again. Oh, <laughs> this is perfectly because uh, Princess Celestia is the overbearing parent. Uh, turns out that uh, Shining Armor and Super Spy Twilight are at it again. Oh, this nice. is just weird down here now. <laughs> uh, she's going to copy... Uh, let's just go with Bloomberg's power since I don't want to bother looking it up. And that way, new goal. Nice. Uh, Queen Platinum's Court, win this goal when three unicorns are played for me wow. in one turn. Wow, our nice. goals are just the three different... Types of ponies. Uh, awesome. Most importantly, I said that I can do that. All right, so uh, if you remember from about two minutes ago, I said I had three unicorns in my hand. <laughs> yep. So uh, we're just going to have the standard anime beach episode. <laughs> <laughs> and Super Spy Twilight is going to just power up with, uh, with Star Student Twilight. Okay, um, that was three, wasn't it? No, no that's, that's two. Oh, you only did two. Oh, you, you did B B B F F. Yeah, um, but I can't use her power, it doesn't matter. Um, and it turns out that uh, we're gonna ship Derpy. Nothing in common, perfect anyway. Derpy is paired with the great and powerful Trixie. <laughs> yeah. That is so appropriate. I'm gonna take my goal. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to swap out the, uh, I'm just going to do Bloomberg again, swap out this card. Win this goal when three Pegasi pairs are in play at once. Alcorn's count as Pegasi. So there's one. Oh yeah, wait. Yeah. One. One. Oh yeah, and then so I end my turn. The Rainbow yeah. Dash fan club, win this goal when two Rainbow Dashes are shipped together. Which I don't think has happened. We only we have, have the one, one. rainbow dash. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I'm going to draw back up to seven. Joe? All right, dude. I think I can get two of these goals right now. And here's how we're going to make it happen. Um, we're going to do shoe. Uh, Druid Fluttershy appropriately leaves on a personal crusade. <laughs> <clears throat> Where she runs into Discord. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Bringing on a big ol' storm of chaos. 
and we are going to ship, what do we got? Uh, Alicorn, Alan Lotus, ship, oh, I gotta ship three, or, or switch three of them, right? Don't you have to switch? Yeah, I gotta swap three of these out. So, yeah. none of their powers activate, but now we have uh, one, two pairs on the board. Three pairs on the board, which means yoink. Thank you. Well done, sir. <laughs> We're now up to six. Six, yes. I also have been hanging on to this one for a while. Tundere Rainbow Dash has always had a crush for some reason uh, since Philly Hood on herself. Oh, wow. Changeling. Yeah. So the changeling comes out and can become any... Uh, this changeling can become any Pegasus for the purposes of this turn, which means that two rainbow dashes are Mackin, and Joe just got three points. Great. So I'm an eight. Uh, I don't want to, uh, uh, you know, confuse you a little bit, but if you happen to magically have another Pegasus card, you'd win the game. I know, and it's really killing me. Wait, <laughs> let me see here. If I can handle... No, because I can't. the other goal is play three Pegasi. If I only had one more ship, I could do it, but I can't. So, it is your turn. My turn! Alright, um, what are my new goals? Uh, your new goals are still the three uh, Pegasi. Uh, we're gonna move them over here, if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, they're off screen, but it doesn't matter. Uh, when this goal, when two rarities are shipped... Okay, easy. Win this goal when two pinkies are shipped. <laughs> All right, I'm doing this. <clears throat> Where is everybody? There's one rarity and no pinkies. There's only one rarity? Yeah. I swear we have more rarities out here. God, where did the rarities go? No, didn't you have a, oh, you killed uh, your queen, evil queen rarity. Remember there was a whole chain here that exploded earlier? Oh yeah, no, no that was my fault. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. This is the biggest well, shipping grid I've ever seen playing this game. I'm gonna go ahead and say that... This is my second time playing this game. So Black Widow Rarities getting a little drunk on power and accidentally uses the wrong spell and we find a changeling. Oh no! She accidentally oh. makes another one of herself and is like, well, she's already here. Might, Might as, as well, well make out. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take that one. Well, nice. yeah, I mean honestly, what else would you do if you accidentally created a Clone of yourself. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay, then I'm gonna also just all the high fives to get some stuff out of my hands. I'm gonna say that Royal Guard Hank is getting a little bored with the tree. He hears one person literally say nay, one pony falls <laughs> in love with caramel. Whatever. I'm not gonna worry about his other abilities. Then Derpy was dreaming, and in her dream she saw Doctor Hooves. Oh, and Derby would make such a great companion, right? That's actually like, <laughs> right? That's a fanfic. Head cannon. Yeah, well, that actually, has to. That, that has actually to. is. That yeah, like, link me to your favorite Derpy Doctor Who fanfic down below. Oh man, please. if you guys have fanfic, I can't believe we haven't uh, asked for these already. Oh yeah. Uh, by the way, Derpy just is Doctor Who's companion. Yeah. Like in a lot of things. Yeah. Um. Um. So that's that's all I can do. My turn. Okay. All right. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, what do you got? What do you got? Uh, I don't know. Oh, we I need another goal, goal. First of all, that's what I need. Which yeah. Uh, when this goal, when six Earth ponies ships are on the board at one time. What's it called? Invasive species. <laughs> okay, so oh, how many have we got? I don't know. I don't um, know that we have any. Uh, one. Oh, we've got one here. Two, three, four. Nice. Four? Four. I'm gonna call it four, okay. One, one two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one day, Bon Bon, the, uh, the sweet tooth, uh, Mr. Cake's just having his cake. And Mrs. Too? Cake is not... Yeah, I've made that joke like four times already. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging that. <laughs> and, uh, and Spike just walks in and he says, Have you met my friend Bon Bon? <laughs> and, uh, and I'm going to draw a card. And so they hit it off real well. Poor Mrs. Cake. And it turns out that, hey, no hard feelings. Because you're going to have to move your goals. Oh, okay. Turns out that Bon Bon is totally the other mare. Oh! <laughs> because she's also shipped with Mrs. Cake. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. So she's uh. 
literally having her cake. And eating it too! <laughs> what? Uh, that's also six uh, Earth Pony. Take it and get out. Uh, I'm currently at six. Six okay. points, okay. Um, and I think... Are, are you still going? Um, I don't know. So, I have to figure out my next move. I was right. too busy shipping Earth Ponies. In the meantime, we're going to end this episode. We'll be back with maybe our last episode, depending on what Joe can pull off on his turn. Uh, if you like My Little Pony and you know people who would like this game or this series of videos, please let them know about it. Tell them about it on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Uh, we'll put a link down below to where you can download the free print and play of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Team Hypercube out! <laughs>